here today to witness the exciting inaugural journey of the Capital Express, the first highway tunnel through the Ridge of Leviathan. This new route saves three hours of travel time. The project was designed by... I didn't have time to listen to background info on the train, no matter how historic the occasion. I was running late to meet my husband and daughter, and I just know they were worried. Dad, where's Mom? She'll be here in time, sweetie. Don't worry. But I didn't make it in time to meet them. Some klutz bumped into me on the platform and my luggage flew all over the place. Watch where you're going! All aboard! Ready for departure! She'll catch the next one, honey. It'll be fine. I watched, frustrated and helpless as the train disappeared into the tunnel. But no one expected what happened next. The train never emerged on the other side. It simply vanished. At first, authorities were frantic in their quest for answers. But as time passed, and neither the police nor scientific experts turned up a single clue, interest faded. The official story is only this. The Capital Express went missing. Over time, the tunnel was closed. No railway ever used the tracks again, and only the morbidly curious ventured near to take a look at the spooky tunnel. As for me, I was broken. If I'd just been on time that day, I wouldn't have lost my family forever. And that is a wonderful emotional opening for the next surface. This is surface number four. This is called the Pantheon. And as you can tell up here, we have the Collector's Edition. So this is going to be a fabulous playthrough. We're going to definitely play the main game, and then we're going to definitely follow up with the bonus chapter. This has got your standard kind of menu here, although it's kind of neat to move around. It's got your options here, so you've got your sound settings, your gamma, which I usually tweak just a little bit higher. You've got your special effects and your credits and all that good stuff. So this is an elephant's game. These folks make fabulous game. I'm going to have down in the description the rest of the Surface series. And in fact, I'll show you right here. So I've recorded all of these games and I've enjoyed every single one of them. The first one, Mystery of Another World. The second one, The Noise You Couldn't Make. And the third one, The Soaring City. So I've recorded all three of these. Check them out. Links for their playlist will be down in the description, as you would always expect. So, we have trains. I like trains. We have some sort of mystery. I like mysteries. So let's get into it. After a year passed, I finally made myself go back to the tunnel. It had swallowed a whole train and taken the two people I love most in the world with it. I needed to go back to that darkness and face it. Richard, Melanie, will I ever know what happened to you? <gasps> Who's there? Gina, I need you to follow me. He'd startled me, and logic dictated I should be on guard. But then, logic dictated that Richard and Melanie shouldn't have disappeared into thin air. Something told me he knew something, so I followed him. I think I would have followed him as well. What have you got to lose at this point? You've already lost your husband and your daughter. All you have is hope. Oh, we're going to go ahead and not get interactive help. Normally I get it, but I'm just feeling a little bit... Uh, different today. Uh, we're going to be definitely collecting our lovely little flowers here. And, uh, so that's flower number one. Let's see what we have down here. We need a newspaper. The Capital Express mysteriously vanished after entering the new tunnel. Neither rescue teams nor scientists could determine what happened. Oh, another flower. That one was worth five... five 
I don't know if it's dollars, flowers, points. It is what it is. So then we definitely have some sort of bicycle here, and I don't want to damage it. We have some sort of lock here. I can't squeeze through the security gates, but maybe I can unlock them somehow. So we need to get this out of there too. So we've got twigs, some sort of lever. Uh, I'll just go and look quickly around here. So we definitely have a, a neat little map here. It looks a little, a little bit linear, which is kind of fine. I do like the way that they list the cutscenes over here. That is kind of cool. Uh, what else do we have? We have our inventory bar, which has our tasks and the ability to lock it, which is kind of clever. Your hint, your standard hint system, and then your here's your strategy guide, which I'm sure a lot of you folks have seen these before. Basically tells you where all the hidden stuff is and tells you how to do some of the puzzles. Uh, I don't generally use the strategy guide. Uh, sometimes I'll do it for the bonus chapter, just for fun. I generally play the main game without it. Okay, let's go. Let's, the sparkly thing is like super sparkly, so we need to click it quickly. One of the things I'm always impressed with on the Elephant Game side is their uh, hidden object scenes are so crisp, the graphics are so well detailed. Very impressed with that. So anyways, we got uh, some inventory items here, so we're going to go ahead and start uh, clicking on things. Uh, it was my shift again. The tunnel had been abandoned for months, but I swear, I still hear the noise of a train running. It could be a nasty prank, but there's no way I'm going down that tunnel to investigate. So we got uh, a couple gears. Looks like we have a bird in here too, somewhere. There's a pretty, pretty bird. Ooh, pick up three items in a hop in less than three seconds. Yay, I'm... Doing my clicky clicky very well. So we have a ball and a pair of scissors. We're oh it's a soccer ball or a football for those European folks. Because I'm from Canada, we tend to call it soccer. However, most of our uh, sports that we do watch it, it's actually European football. Uh, for example, the Toronto uh, has a major league uh, soccer team, but the actual name of the team is Toronto FC, which of course means Toronto Football Club. So it's kind of weird. We kind of use both football and soccer to mean the same sport. And to make it even more interesting, we also have a separate uh, Canadian Football League, which is more like the American Football League or the National Football League. So yeah, we like to make things as confusing as we possibly can up here in the Great White North. Alright, so we got skizzers and we have a whistle. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and hit the last item. So that's generally what I do when I play these. I don't typically try to get perfect on hidden object scenes. I try to get as many as I can and hint as necessary. So we have a key. Let's assume the key goes here. Yep. That was creepy. <laughs> I know I'm not allowed in here, but I have to follow that guy. Let's follow that guy. Gina, how far are you willing to go to find out what happened to Capital Express? How does he know my name? Who are you? How do you know my name? Exactly. This is... a ticket for the train. On the day it disappeared. He rekindled my hope that I'd see Richard and Melanie again. Even though I knew they were gone. Oh no. He sped off in the rail car, but I don't want to turn back now. I'll find a way to follow him. Alright, so we got a couple more flowers. I'm not sure what we have here. What are we doing with these flowers? Alright, welcome to the Pantheon Treasury. It corners. Its corners hide many secrets. Some gates unlock automatically when you reach a certain area in the game. Others unlock once you've found a certain number of collectible flowers in the game. Oh, this is kind of cool, actually. So I'm not really supposed to do anything other than collect them for now, I'm guessing. We'll check on that later. Let's look at the phone booth. 
Oh, it's broken. I will take that can. Even before the tunnel opened, workers heard strange noises and saw flashes of light. Why didn't anyone call for an investigation? Yeah, it's a little creepy. So what do we have here? I guess this is no use to me now. So we're going to need some sort of uh, phone fix, if you will. Alright, so there's the puzzle we just saw in the... We're in the strategy guide there for a split second. We'll come back to that, so we're going to definitely fill that up there. Now it's all oily. Something's there. It's too dark for me to follow him on foot. Alright, let's oil up the situation. Alright, cool. So let's look at our information. Turn the switches on until all the bulbs are lit. Turning some switches affects others. Alright, so let's see what this one does. Hmm. Yeah, that was relatively straightforward. Look at that, a couple more achievements there. Time to ride the rocket. Or not. Looks like we're going to need some batteries. So we're kind of out of luck there. We need, uh... Well, we can get the screwdriver. Get there for our handle. Could probably call 911. Hello, hello. Do I have to actually call 911? Oh wow, it actually does what you dial. This is 911. Please state your emergency. Well, that. I knew I should have gone home and got on with my life, but I couldn't. I'll take that battery. So let's have a look at our map here and see what this is telling us. We've got tasks to fulfill, tasks to fulfill, so we'll go back inside here. Uh, do I have that screwdriver? Yes, I do, so I can get the last battery here. Out of this old-fashioned lamp on this uh, bicycle. It's a bag that I'm going to have to unlock with a bicycle symbol. Put our batteries in there. So now what do we do? The lantern should... Oh, I have a bulb. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Looks like we have... What do we have here? What is this? If I want to check down there for useful items, I should, shouldn't use my hands. Acid could have leaked there. Or something worse. Oh, we're I riding. had to find out what happened to them. Little did I know what I'd discover. You have a personal connection to the vanished train, Gina. Your husband and kid were on it. This is something I can use. I don't get it. I am Dr. Martin Bors, a scientist who's been conducting research on the vanishing phenomenon for years. It's not just this train, Gina. You've heard of others. The Bermuda Triangle, the Tunguska event. And there have been other abductions you haven't heard of. Abductions? What are you talking about? Are you crazy? I'm quite serious, as well as sane. And you're the key to finding out what really happened here, Gina. Your blood tie to your daughter could be the missing link. The thing that shows us where she is. You must trust me. But... I don't understand. Have a look here. Alright, let's find out what's under the... Oh, we're gonna have to untie it first, apparently. The knot's too tight to undo. We got some electricity going on there, that's bad. I'll take that box cutter. Utility knife, sure, we'll go with that. So no one gave Dr. Bohr's clearance for his experiment? He's unusually determined to see this through. Dun dun dun! Okay, what about, oh, something fell off there. The lock is broken, I guess we're gonna need some gears. We can maybe cut the rope here. Whenever I say that, I always think of the game now. <laughs> 
chance to cut the rope. It can't be. That looks like the engine to the Capital Express. Sure the same does. train, the same passenger, the same ticket. It wasn't easy to recreate that day one year ago. If my plan fails, this is just an evening train trip for you. You have nothing to lose. For all I knew, this Dr. Bors was crazy as a jaybird. But he was right about one thing. I had nothing to lose, and everything to gain if he brought back my family. Okay, I'll do it. I'm so glad I could count on you. I've just a few more calculations to make, and I could use your help. Please, take a look at this. What's he up to? I don't know. We're gonna go and gra grab that flower there. And that one over there. Uh, I don't know if there... No, nothing there. So what do we have here? Ooh. My deep bond with my family could help reunite us. My research suggests that in order to recreate the Capital Express incident, I need a subject with a strong emotional connection to the original event. Fair enough, looks like we need a heart. Oh, look, a little bicycle. So we need train, passenger, ticket, fix. Fair enough. Let's go get that bicycle. Let's see what we have in here. A net. Net's good for acid. For a split second, but still good. So now we have a train rivet. I don't know where a train rivet needs to go. I mean, I'd like to think it goes on the train, but. How am I supposed to fix this now? Nope. I don't think that's a rivet, is it? No, it's not. Let's look at our quick map here. Looks like we don't have anything to do there. Let's go back here. How do I get this off? Oh, yeah, there we go. Tie that up. So now we have a broom to sweep away the cobwebs, I guess, or whatever you want. Yeah, cobwebs. It's a little dangerous here. Those sparks look dangerous. I need to protect my hand. So, a rickety lever fell apart before my eyes. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks. So I did play the beta for this game months and months ago. So the first 20 to 30 minutes or so are uh, something that I'm familiar with. But uh, nonetheless, it's still quite enjoyable to get back here. Very enjoyable. Alright, well... What are we doing here? I don't think I have the right tools to do this. I need to find a wrench. Hmm. Well, let's find out what our hint does. Search for a welding glove on the side of the train. So... That's the wrench we need. Oh wow, okay. There we go. There's still steam coming out. I should jam the rivet in deeper. We don't really have anything to do that with. But we're gonna go ahead and get out of that wrench. And then we're gonna go get the lever here. Pull that off there. And we have a gear too. Is that the only gear we need? Ooh, a hammer? Dr. Boar's research is full of strange formulas. But here's an entry from his diary. I hope Gina comes here as I've predicted. It's been exactly one year since the Capital Express disappearance. I don't have official permission for my experiment, but everything has aligned otherwise. I believe in what I'm doing. It's all up to Gina now. How did he know I'd show up at the tunnel? The anniversary, I guess. Can I trust this man? I suppose it's too late to ask that question, as I already have. Yeah, it is a little too late to ask that question. Alright, let's pound the rivet in. Oh, 
Locomotive repair. That's a line I'll never, I never imagine any adding to my resume. Okay, so where do I put the switch though? Here we go. All right, we're getting really close. Train's fixed. Everything's ready to go. How's the, how am I not done? Oh, the heart. Oh, the locket. Alright, information. Pair up the symbols under the latches. Select the two to reveal the symbols. Whoa. Oh, okay. Cool. And last but not least. I think we're ready. It's time for departure. The deeper into the tunnel we traveled, the weaker were my hopes. I kept seeing the faces of my husband and child in the glass. I often had visions of them, but this time, I thought it was part of the science or magic. Dr. Boris had cooked up in here. We were just about to leave the tunnel when suddenly... Oh no. Melanie? I'm here. Melanie, where are you? What? Dr. Boars, no! Oh no, we crashed the train. Oh my goodness. Oh, I see flowers, so we're gonna go ahead and get those flowers. And we'll take a break here, and we'll see you in the next episode of Surface for the Pantheon. Thanks for watching, everyone.